Do you know that India has the third largest Muslim population in the world just after Indonesia and Pakistan? This is an exciting story of growth within India's varied population. Let's go back to 1951 when India's population was 361 million. Muslims made up a small 9.8%. Remember, India gained independence in 1947 and the 1951 census was the first one after that. Over time, the numbers started to change. By 2011, India's population grew to over 1,211 million. Also, 2011 is when the last census in India was conducted. It's estimated that India's current population is around 1,428 million, which is believed to be higher than China's population. During this time, the Muslim population grew faster than the overall population, increasing 4.91 times. This growth spiked the Muslim population's percentage from 9.8% in 1951 to 14.2% in 2011, the highest ever recorded. This increase shows the diversity and constant evolution of India, one of the world's largest democracies. The Muslim population in India grew significantly from 9.8% in 1951 to 14.2% in 2011. The percentage of Muslims in the total population in 1961, 1971, 1981, 1991 and 2001 was 10.7, 11.2, 11.8, 126 and 13.4% respectively. At the same time, the percentage of Hindus dropped from 84.1% in 1951 to 79.8% in 2011. The sustained growth of the Muslim population in India is not a mere coincidence. Over the span of six decades, from 1951 to 2011, as has been mentioned that the Muslim population experienced a notable rise. This increase is the share of Muslim population is also reflected in the average annual growth rate, which has consistently been higher for the Muslim population compared to the total population. Now let's dive into the numbers. From 1951 to 2011, the Muslim population grew at an average annual rate of growth of 2.69%. Compared to this, the total population's of India growth rate was a little over 2%, precisely 2.04%. That's a substantial difference, isn't it? The most significant surge in the Muslim population growth rate was observed between 1951 and 1961 where it clocked in at 2.99%. This period marked the highest growth rate for the Muslim population in India. These numbers reveal an important trend. They offer a glimpse into the demographic shifts that have been taking place in India over the past 60 years. With an average annual growth rate of 2.69% from 1951 to 2011, the Muslim population's growth in India is a significant demographic trend. The distribution of the Muslim population across India is not uniform. Some states have a higher concentration of Muslims than others. A few states have a lower share of Muslim population than at the All India level. On the other hand, other states have higher share. When we explore the state-wise distribution of the Muslim population, we observe that the numbers gravitate towards certain regions and significantly higher in a few states. For instance, in 2011 census, Five states, namely Assam, Bihar, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal were home to over 58% of India's total Muslim population. Now this reveals quite an interesting fact as these five states collectively account for a little over a third of India's total population. Moreover, two regions, Jammu and Kashmir and Lakshadweep stood out with Muslim majorities having 68.31% and 96.58% respectively. Apart from these, 12 other states had a Muslim population share above 10%. Some of these states are Assam, Bihar, Delhi, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. These statistics reflect a pattern, a concentration of the Muslim population in specific states. This pattern could be attributed to a variety of factors, including historical events, migration and cultural influences. It's also important to note that the state-wise distribution of the Muslim population has implications beyond numbers. It impacts the socio-cultural fabric of these states, influences local politics and most importantly, it underscores the need for targeted educational and development policies to cater to their specific needs. 
By understanding the demographic patterns, policymakers and educators can design and implement strategies that take into account the specific and challenges of the Muslim population in these states, thereby contributing to an inclusive and equitable society. Understanding the demographic trends is crucial for addressing the educational needs of the Muslim population and ensuring inclusive development. Education is more than just learning and acquiring skills. It's a potent tool that can propel social change and economic progress. For the Muslim community, which constitutes more than 14% of India's population, education is the key to unlocking opportunities and achieving sustainable development. This highlights the necessity for data-driven policies that can bridge educational disparities and promote inclusivity. And who better to spearhead this endeavor than the academicians and researchers dedicated to comprehending these intricate dynamics? One such academician, Dr. Arun C. Mehta, a retired professor and head of the department at NIPA, has recently conducted a thorough study on the status of the Muslim education in India. His work, rooted in Unified District Information System for Education and All India Survey on Higher Education Data, offers valuable insights that can steer policy decisions and shape educational initiatives. Notably, both are official sources and are managed by the Ministry of Education. Comprehensive data on the education of the Muslim population can be accessed from the respective portals. However, the current year's data is not available. Professor Mehta's findings underscore the need for consistent census data and targeted policies to nurture an equitable society. But this is just the start. To make a profound impact, we must keep the conversation going and maintain the focus on inclusive education. That's where you step in. For additional insights on school education in India and data analysis, subscribe to Professor RNC Mehta's YouTube channel and visit his website educationforallinindia.com. Before we end, don't forget to press the bell icon for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.